five tips to encourage the use of a minority language. Why is my child not responding to my language? This is a common struggle which minority language parents often face. There are plenty of reasons why this happens. The following five tips are going to help you prevent language rejection and adjust your approach to reach your goals. Tip number one, stick to your minority language. In the first three to five years of your child's life, you have the chance to build up a strong bond, a solid relationship to your children. The more languages you speak to your children, the more likely it is that they will choose to reply in their preferred language, their stronger one, often the majority language. That is why if it is important to you that your children respond to you in your language, speak consistently using that language when talking to them until it becomes a habit, a necessity. Once you have reached this important milestone, you can carefully start adding new languages. Give your child a big bang start. As I mentioned before, the first years, including the time in the womb, are crucial to the overall development of a child. If you are a minority language parent, you need to use the first five years wisely and take advantage of this important phase. Give your children a big bang start by investing as many hours and as much energy as you possibly can, exposing them to their minority language. Once your kids go to school, their majority language will become very dominant. By the time a child goes to school, the weaker the minority language level is, the more likely it is that the child will drop it. Tip number three, be proud and strong. Children are very susceptible beings. They know when something smells fishy. If there are any negative connotation with the language, it could lead to refusal to speak it. To begin with, you need to use your minority language proudly whenever and in front of whomever you are when speaking to your children. That will give them confidence. Talk to them about your roots, your culture, visit your country of origin, and let your children have multiple positive experiences with people that speak your language. All of this will strengthen their connection towards the language and will motivate them to keep on learning. Kids that have had negative experiences linked to the minority language tend to choose to reject it. That is why avoid overcorrecting or forcing your children to speak. Instead, support, encourage and protect them if you witness the following. Any negative connotation with the language. Bullying because of the use of the language. Harsh criticism fear of making mistakes or disinterest for not seeing the value in using your language. It is important to remember that you are the biggest role model to your children. Be proud, speak confidently and teach them how to react when confronted with negative comments. Now, number four, lots of quality language exposure. When children often switch or borrow words from other languages, it is a clear sign that they need more language input to become more confident and have the vocabulary needed to express themselves. Encourage reading books and listening to audiobooks on a regular basis. Use supplements and external help like play dates, support from family and friends, visit the country of origin, um, uh, use appropriate videos, music, apps, and other programs. And number five, have fun and be positive. When kids are having fun, they learn faster, better, and get interested in the topic. As a parent, the best thing you can do is awaken their interest in the minority language. Your children need plenty of positive experiences linked to your languages to feel the desire to speak it. 
make the effort of improving and become lifelong learners. If you have burning questions that I haven't answered yet, go ahead and book a free intake call with me. There you can tell me your situation, ask your questions, and after having carefully analyzed your unique case, I'll give you professional advice and practical tips. Otherwise, check out these other videos and you might find some answers there as well. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to this with Multilingual Family. Keep on doing a great job and I talk to you soon.